How are you doing Fatima and Hibban? Good. So today is our final class of the entire Fiqh with Kids program inshallah, okay? Okay. Today we are going to discuss how to pray Salatul Witr. How to pray? Salatul Witr. Do you know when we pray Salatul Witr? Uh, yeah. After Isha. After good job. After, after Isha or Aisha? Aisha. Aisha, good Tarawi, job. Aisha. Ah, uh, yeah, if you are praying in Ramadan, then you will pray after Tarawi. But if you are praying in regular days where you don't pray Tarawi, then you pray after Isha, right? Yeah. So you pray after Isha. Yes, Fatima? Is the praying obligatory recommended? Very good question. So most of these scholars say that this is highly recommended Sunnah. And if you miss this Sunnah, usually you remember, and so if you miss this Sunnah, you won't get a sin. But if you make a habit of leaving Vitr, you will going to get a sin. Even though it's a Sunnah. And some scholars say it's even obligatory. Because the emphasis is so much on Sunnah. We would say it's a highly recommended Sunnah. You remember? Yeah. Uh, also, one more thing. That um, uh, before we can see the Dua of the Vitr, let me tell you how to pray Salatul Vitr. So again, it's after Salatul Risha, after the night prayer. Once you pray Isha prayer, and then you pray Sunnah prayer, how many Sunnah you should pray after Isha? Uh, one. Two. One. Two. You remember? Two. 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 Good job, mashallah. And then after that you pray Vitr. So how do you pray Vitr? Usually Vitr you pray, how many? Two. One. Odd numbers. Odd number. Odd three rakah. Three rakah. You pray Vitr? Three rakah. How would you start? You would start praying first rakah. You would complete the first rakah, then you would start second rakah, you would complete the second rakah. After the second rakah, you would say salamu alaikum, you will finish two rakah. You would say salam after two rakah. And then you would stand up again for the third rakah. Is it clear? Mm -hmm. Then the moment you will stand for the third rakah, you are going to say alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. But you have said already said salam after the second rakah, remember this in Vitr. Okay? You said salam? And then you will stand up for the okay. third rakah again. You are going to recite Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Then maybe Surah Ikhlas, Kuluhullah Ahad. Once you are done, then you will go into the ruku. Subhana Rabbi Razim. You will stand up. Sami Allah liman hamida. Rabbana lak alhamd. And then you will go into ask dua. We are going to discuss that dua, okay? This is the dua. Yes, you are going to ask the dua. And after the dua is completed, what you will do? You will go into go directly to sajda. And then you will complete that third rakah. Is it clear, Fatima? Yes. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, that's great. Yes, Fatima. Asa, when we stand up, after we read the dua, we just say, sometimes we in Haban forget, and we do ruku again, then we do sajda. Yeah, uh, usually we should do only one ruku and two sajda. And we should make dua, uh, this kunut, uh, this prayer of kunut, after the Ruku. But if you do before the Ruku, it's fine by the way. Some scholars say it's fine. But let's do it after the Ruku, okay? Okay. Um, let's start this. What is the Dua which you have to recite in Vitar prayer? If you, you, you have to, you have to memorize this Dua Fatima and Hibban. And inshallah you will, I know you're very smart, mashallah. But if you, if, if you could not memorize this dua, if you could not read this dua, then you can read any dua. رَبَّنَا أَتِينَ فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنًا وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ حَسَنًا وَقِينَ عَزَابَ النَّارِ Do you know that dua? Yeah. You can read that dua. In the end of yeah, any, any dua. But try to remember this dua because Rasulullah sallam used to recite this dua in the Vitr. Okay? Okay. Okay, let's start. So the dua is Allahumma ahdini fi man hadayt. Allahumma ahdini fi man hadayt. Iban, say, 
اللهم اهدني في من هديت اها في من هديت في من هديت في من هديت good job oh allah guide me write it down oh allah guide me among those who are guided oh allah oh allah guide, guide me among those who are, guided. who are guided what does it mean oh. when we are looking for guidance um. you know we are planning to go to houston uh, after ramadan oh. you know this right yeah. will you need gps guidance yeah, or else we could get lost. Yes, so you need GPS to guide you how to drive from Massachusetts to Houston, right? Yeah, and we need a lot to guide In real life, in real life, if you don't have a GPS, how would you live a life? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to provide you guidance, what to eat, what not to eat, what to do and what not to do, what is good deed and what is bad deed. Who will you tell us? Allah. 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 So we are asking Allah, oh Allah, guide us, guide me among those who are guided. So prophets were guided, make me like, follow the example of prophet. Okay? Okay. Good job. Then we say in the dua, first Allahumma hadini fi man hadayt, then wa'afini fi man afayt. Say with me, wa'afini fi man afayt. Good job. And pardon me or forgive me among those who are pardoned or who are forgiven. So forgive my shortcomings, forgive my mistakes Allah. And include me among those who are already forgiven. Is it clear? Yes. Why it's important? Because we do mistakes all the time, yeah. right? So yeah. it's always very important to ask for forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Is it clear, Fahidban? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So first part is Allahumma hadini fi man hadayt. Second is? Wa fi man Third part is Wa tawallani fi man tawallayt. Wa tawallani fi man and befriend me among those whom you have befriended. What does it mean, befriend? Mm, uh, I don't know. Befriend. Make me your friend okay. as like those who are your friend. Befriend. Yeah. Means we are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Hibban. Hibban, we are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah, can you make us as your friend? How awesome that will be, right? Yes. How awesome your friend will be if your friend is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? Yes. So we are asking Allah, can you um, uh, just give us this honor uh, that we will be your friends? So befriend me among those you have befriended. Okay. Then, should you continue? Yes. What tawallani fi man tawallayt. Actually, you've already did this. Wabarik li fi ma a'atoyt. Wabarik li fi ma a'atoyt. Hiban, say. Wabarik li fi ma a'atoyt. Good job. Bless me in what you have granted. Bless me in what you have? Granted. Granted. Tell me, Hiban, what are the things that Allah has given to you? You are asking Allah to bless those Everything. things. What, for example? Toy. Toy. So you'll ask Allah to bless you. When Allah will have a blessing, you will enjoy more with that toy. You know there are certain toys you will enjoy more than other toys? Yeah. Why? Because Allah SWT blessed those toys. And then there are certain toys which will going to last longer in, in terms of enjoyment. And some toys will break quickly because Allah SWT blessed those certain toys. So what you are asking? You are asking Allah to bless whatever you have given to me. Whatever you have granted to me. Is it clear, Hibban? Yeah. Yes, Can Fatima. I give an example? Yeah, please. Uh, Allah gave us a house. Good job. So what does it mean when we are saying, oh Allah bless us in what you have granted us in house? It means if Allah SWT had given you house, you were going to find it peace and tranquility in that house, right? Yes. Okay. Um, then we are saying Mubarak Fihi Ma'atit Waqini Sharra Ma Qadait Waqini Sharra Ma Qadait Fahid Bani Fata say with me Waqini Waqini Sharra Ma Qadait Good job It means save me from the evil that you have decreed That you have decided Save me from the evil that you have decreed Decreed means decided Okay I think that was decreased Dec no, not decrease. Decrease is something which is becoming less. From decreed, 
you know there's a decree Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have written already that oh. so so save me from the evil that you have already decided is it clear yes so if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have already decided something we are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from the evil of that is it clear okay okay inna ka taqadi wa la yuqda alayk say with me inna ka taqadi wa la yuqda alayk wa la yuqda alayk indeed you only pass this decree and none can pass a decree upon you indeed. means no one can decide what will happen in this world except Allah, Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we have to know this Indeed. so whom should we should seek help all the time Allah, Allah. subhanahu wa ta'ala good job what you are saying Hibban indeed you are the one who only passes decree and none can pass a decree upon you is it clear Fatima and Hibban? yes okay وَإِنَّهُ لَا يَذِلُّ مَوْ وَالَيْتِ وَإِنَّهُ لَا يَذِلُّ مَوْ وَالَيْتِ and then we are saying indeed he will not be humiliated he will not be insulted whoever will be your friend so Allah if we will be your friend yeah. we will never be insulted yeah. because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yes so because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala won't allow anyone to insult us if we are his friend right yeah so that's what we are saying indeed he is not humiliated he is not insulted whom you have befriended whom you have befriended you have, have befriended can, can you give me any example of this? Uh, uh, if, uh, uh, Burika? maybe that you won't be insulted if you are the friend of Allah okay. so if you are outside you are playing and you have a friend but but suddenly she, she laughs and you and bullies you but if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala your friend nobody could bully you yes even though the people might say something bad to you because there are good people and there are bad people but you know you once you have the friendship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your heart Fatima yes you won't be concerned about what people are saying even though they will say something bad even though they might say verbally insulting things to you but in your heart you know who is my friend Allah, who is protecting me? Allah. So when Allah is protecting your back, you don't need anyone else. So you will get calm, you will get peace in that time. Is it clear, Fatima? Yes. That's awesome. وَإِنَّهُ لَا يَذِلُّ مَنْ وَالِي وَلَا يَعِزُّ مَنْ عَدَيْتِ وَلَا يَعِزُّ مَنْ عَدَيْتِ Nor he can get honor whom you have animosity. What? Animosity means um, enmity. No, he can get so 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 basically you are saying that Allah no one can get insulted who is your friend and no one can get a respect and honor who is your enemy. Is oh, it clear? Cheetah. Yes. Is it clear? Yeah. Okay. Tabarak Tarabbana wa Ta'ali and O oh Allah bless are you our Lord the Exalted. Is it clear? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'll read this in Arabic completely. Read with me. Allahumma. Allahumma. Ihdini fi man hadayt. Ihdini fi man hadayt. Actually, read it together. Allahumma ihdini fi man hadayt. Iban, read with Fatima. Wa'afini fi man arfayt. Read together, read together. Wa'afini fi man arfayt. Read together. Wa'afini fi man arfayt. Wa'afini fi man وَتَوَلَّنِي فِي مَنْ تَوَلَّيْتِ آه وَتَوَلَّنِي وَتَوَلَّنِي فِي مَنْ تَوَلَّيْتِ وَبَارِكْ لِي فِي مَا أَعْطَيْتِ وَقِنِي شَرَّ مَا قَضَيْتِ إِنَّكَ تَقْضِي وَلَا يُقْضَى عَلَيْكِ Iban, can you read uh, by yourself? Innaka? Innaka. Taqdi. Taqdi wa la yaqda. Yuqda. Yuqda. Alayk. Alayk. Now read together. Wa innahum la yadhillu man walayt. Wa innahum la yadhillu man walayt. 
ولا يعز من عاديت ولا يعز من عاديت ولا يعز من عاديت ولا يعز من عاديت تباركت ربنا وتعاليك تباركت تباركت ربنا ربنا وتعاليك وتعاليك good job okay so this dua when you will read quickly how many rakats of vitri are there three how you will pray you will pray first raka then you will pray second raka then you will say the natahiyah then you will say salam or not Yes. You say salam, and then you will stand up and pray the third raka, and then you will begin to recite surah, and then you will begin to recite uh, surah fatiha, and then a small surah, and then you are going to the ruku. Then once you will stand up from the ruku, you will make this dua. Okay. Allah lil muhammad or bana lak alhamd, and then you will going. Would you raise hand? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's recommended to raise. I raise my hand like this. Good, but this like this. This. Like this. Okay. And then you will make this dua, and then you will go into the sajda. Is it clear? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, some people, some people will going to make dua before going to ruku, but what we are learning here, we are going to make dua after the ruku. Yes, Fatima. Can I give one example of Allah's friend and Allah's not friend? Allah's friend, I, it's Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam his friend. Absolutely. And Shaitan is not his friend. His enemy, right? Yeah. Good job. Okay, uh, so this is uh, it. Uh, I hope that uh, all of you had a great time in our videos. Please give your feedback in the comment section. And I would like to say special thanks to Fatima and Haidwan and all the kids who are looking uh, mm -hmm. at this video. Fatima and can you come here? Can you come here? Okay. Fatima, come here, Fatima. Um, please make dua for both of them and I will make dua for all of you and your kids inshallah we ask Allah mm -hmm. subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us all inshallah mm -hmm. and to gather us all in Jannah to Firdaus inshallah ta'ala assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh bye bye <laughs> <laughs> bye bye